Today in the kitchen now with Brian from Bonda Wealth. And good morning, great to see you. Good morning. So I hear that you are known for your your uh, your macaroni salad, the Big Daddy macaroni salad. Yep, that's my nickname. So uh, it's one of my favorites to bring to potlucks or any sort of barbecue. I love it. Um, and you know, there's nothing better than a good macaroni salad. You know what I mean? And my book is just I don't know. Bring it on. You know, got brats going and uh, burgers on the grill and I, I just, I don't know, brings back memories. So mm -hmm. um, first thing that we will do is we're going to um, make the dressing for this and it looks like it's not too complicated but there's some fun different stuff going on. Yeah, it's it's pretty simple. Uh, there's just a lot of veggies in it so it gives you a lot of crunch and it's really good. All right, so let's go ahead um, and this calls for a box of macaroni yep. um, that we've boiled and cooled. Yep, after you uh, cook it for, you know, al dente, you uh, put it in an ice water bath to stop the cooking and uh, that way your pasta doesn't get mushy or anything when you add it to the salad later. Okay, good deal. So let's go ahead and work on the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Um, first we add two cups of either um, mayonnaise or salad dressing. What do you prefer to use? I like to use salad dressing just because it's a little sweeter. Uh, compared to all the other ingredients we're going to add later. So like a Miracle Whip? Yep, Miracle Whip's good. For people who don't like the sweeter though, go with the mayo. Yeah, and okay. if you you know just want to sweeten up the mayonnaise, you can just add a little sugar. Okay. Um, and then we put three tablespoons, about, of just plain yellow mustard. Okay. So about three. And then we just add about two teaspoons of minced garlic. Okay. I just buy the store bought, but if you want to put, you know, the energy into mincing up your own garlic, that's fine too. Okay. And lastly, we just add a about a two teaspoons to a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. So. All right. So mayonnaise, mustard, garlic, and white wine vinegar. Why use the white wine instead of the, the distilled? Well, you can use either or, but I. I've tested it a couple times and the white wine vinegar seems to bring out the flavors of the vegetables a little bit better. A little milder taste. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right, so now we've got some veggies chopped up. I uh, see we've got some finely diced onion. Yep. Okay, finely diced celery. Yep. And carrot. Fine. Carrot for I some like great the, color and crunch. Yeah. yeah. I like to dice them up fine just because they latch onto those noodles so when you eat them they're you get all the flavors in one bite. Sounds good to me. Now here's where there's a, this takes a different twist and a different turn. Yeah, we've got uh, roasted red bell peppers that I like to use. They're just the jarred kind that you can buy from the store. Okay. So we'll chop those up real quick. That's going to give it some nice color and just a fun different flavor. Yep. So every party you go to, are you in charge of bringing the, macro the Big Daddy macaroni salad? Well, it depends. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll bring this or if they want me on the grill, I'll be on the grill. What's your grilling specialty? Uh, I smoke ribs and Ooh. I make my own sausage. So. Oh my gosh, we'll have to have yeah. you on, Brian, to do that sometime. Nothing better than smoked ribs. Mm. I just made some for Mother's Day, actually. Ooh. So. I didn't get the call. I didn't <laughs> get the invite. All right, so now we've got the uh, roasted red pepper, and finally, this is kind of a fun ingredient, too. I yeah. love these on like sub sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I do, too. Um, these are just jarred banana peppers. I like to use the hot ones, but you know, if you don't like the spicy kind, you can get the mild or just regular. Now you say that this is something that you really like to make a good hour before at least to get it in the refrigerator and get those flavors. So when you make it, could you even make it the day ahead? Yeah, you okay. can, you know, just put it in the refrigerator overnight and let all those flavors just combine together and yeah, yeah. works really well. Salt and pepper? Yep. A little salt and pepper? Put about a teaspoon of sea salt and, you know, a tablespoon or so of fresh cracked pepper. So you like a lot of pepper in there. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I do too. I do too. And then our cooled macaroni noodles go in here. And we have some that's already done ahead of time and mixed together. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. And now it's time for our guest judge, Susan Bino. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It's so great to this see you. This is the best part. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, Susan um, is a, you know, been a well-known chef, owned a restaurant in the area for years. Now you've got a new title of I'm a culinary specialist. And she is. She teaches wonderful cooking classes, and she's just an all-around great lady and great cook. So she's our guest judge today. We thought of her right away because she's known for making wonderful, beautiful salads. So um, this is kind of fun. Okay. Some, uh, you know, usual, it's, it's kind of like your regular macaroni kicked up a lot notch, you know, mm -hmm. but not too crazy either. Some fun different flavors and colors in there. 
Looks good, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, coming over for ribs, too. Okay. <laughs> we'll come together. You yes. make the macaroni salad. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. Tastes I, a little bit of the banana pepper and the... What I like is his, his um, idea to cut the vegetables real small mm -hmm. because we get a bite of everything at one time. Really good point. Very good. Very, Very good. good. I'll be taking this with me. 